mad right now, you guys. So I'm in here doing my hair. I'm trying to get ready right now for the day. And oh, I'm like shaking. And um, my landlord is trying to sell our homes. And this is something we know. Our houses have been painted and pressure washed. And she has all these people constantly here without masks. When we first started renting this place, we knew that the owner owned all the houses around us. We're like in a private compound and so we're really aware of what's going on um, as far as selling it. She has asked us recently if we would like to buy the house and we told her yes. She said she was gonna give us information and we haven't heard anything. But she is like crazy working trying to get this house sold. Like she is doing so much work to all the houses around us. I saw her here this morning she pulled in and she met this guy and I saw her walking around all the properties and she's pointing to stuff now if you guys flash back to a few days ago I told you that Kekoa trimmed the back of our yard we're trying to fix it and get it all ready um, because we wanted to build a sunflower garden for me and we're just trying to clean up the back of our yard and just trying to make it a really nice fun place for the kids to play there is three guys in the back right now filling up our trash can cleaning up our yard cutting down my lily koi tree my branches and you know it's like I'm grateful that they're there and that they're fixing or that they're cleaning it up for us but it's just so scary that she just can come in our house and do whatever I want now I could go out there and I could make a scene but I'm by myself with three kids I definitely don't want to be doing that um and it's just weird like they don't tell us they don't ask us they just literally come and do what they want and it's like this is our home like we are a family here like I understand you're trying to just be a shark and flip the houses and make money good cool I'm glad you can do that but there's actually people that live here I never update you guys but there has been so much going on around my house and I know that she is trying to sell these houses immediately and it's just that freaks me out you know we work so hard to make our house nice like this bed alone my dad built from scratch wood like you can't just take it apart like we would have to like break it apart mace is now up good morning to the happiest boy our old realtors made like what are you talking to our old realtors like in the middle of the pandemic like back i think this was like march of last year like oh, literally <sighs> maybe it was a little before that i don't even know but they were showing the house so we were in the house living when they were showing the house and people were coming by to look at it to buy it and the lady that ended up buying it like our 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 landlord today was like how's the schools like she was like acting like she was like a mom like wanting to buy her house and then for her to buy it and then just know that we're like a full like a family that lives in here and she all she cares about is flipping it like she's literally flipping the house with us in here and we pay like twenty five hundred dollars rent like i'm just gonna say it like it is expensive to live in hawaii we pay her a lot of money a month and she just has people around our house i filmed it you guys saw we went to go do a sunflower patch photo shoot we drove so far that is why i wired my whole house and cameras now because we drove like 45 minutes away came home mace was screaming he just wanted out of his car seat and our whole house was filled of guys pressure washing our house and they had to literally peel the tape through our door for us to get through our door we get in our house and our whole kitchen is soaking wet they had pressure washed and didn't tell us and our windows were open and it's just like how can you do this when a family is living here i know it's temporary and i know that we'll be okay but it's just scary knowing that you know we could be without a house for a little and i love where we live i love my house i love this is like my safety and just to know that someone is literally fixing it to to get you out ASAP is 
so scary. Do you guys see this? This is what I'm dealing with today. So this is literally like, and not to pat my own back, but this would never happen in my life, in my mind. Like right now this looks like my mind cannot think properly also because of this. Mace has outgrown all his clothes and it's time to go through and switch and move it up. I've had a great system going where I put his baby clothes in one in like what he's wearing and then the next size because I have like a lot of sizes and then I did laundry and so I knew I was going to go through it so I didn't want to pop pack the laundry away so I kind of started like stacking it over here and then stacking it on the side first I need to make some lunch though for my big kids we just got done doing school when Mace was napping all right I'm gonna make one of my go-to lunches I feel like I've been making this a lot lately but it's just it's like a DIY pizza lunchable. So I just take some spaghetti sauce and I heat it up. I toast a little bagel and let them like make their own pizzas with cheese. And Lunch is served. You're a good boy. When you give Mace this toy, watch him. He throws his feet instantly up. <laughs> he tries to hold it with all four, it's so funny. <laughs> Ready? How does this happen, you guys? How does all the cheese end up on the ground? found some time to get ready for the day and I wanted to say that I never and I mean never straighten my hair anymore and that used to be the only way I would wear it like back when it was like black look at it what happened Law has been having really bad allergies like he has like seasonal allergies I think we got him like a blood test done when he was really little where they had to like poke his finger and scrape it and collect a lot of blood and they did find that he was allergic to things like dust and peanuts but it was a really low allergen like it wasn't going to affect him really bad um, maybe just like his skin is a little bit more rashy but like he's been having sneezing attacks I've been having to give him like Benadryl often he has just been going through it and he just woke up right now out of bed and his like right eye is swollen shut I like need to take him to the doctors. It's like so worrisome. Allergies, I've never dealt with it, but I know Kikoa is really affected by things. Like he gets really like congested. I don't know if you guys notice, but sometimes like he will have a sneezing attack and will film and he's just so, his eyes get super red. He like reacts to air conditioning. It's just really, really bad for him. I did. I did. Ew. Damn. Are you serious? Babe, I did the yard today. Dude, you look like a snack right now. I did it. I mean, I. I you got a fresh tan? No. Oh, you look sexy, babe. I did not get a tan, Kiko. That's really the sexy. way. That's just. That's just the burntness from being in the yard for like two hours <laughs> chopping it all up. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm just kidding. Someone came and I was like really annoying because there's like all these guys around our house and I was like having a moment because none of them had masks on. Dude, it, sexy. They leave me alone. <laughs> The things I do for content, but I wanted to make a fun TikTok. Someone asked me like what part of Hawaii I'm from, and so I did this like I'm doing like this transition where I'm just like normal and basic, and then I'm gonna like be in the forest, like you know, so Hawaii vibes. So I'm gonna go film that real quick. I will be right back. Something just came to me. a lot of the times I don't like to share this kind of stuff because I don't like I know it's not relatable and I feel like it can be relatable if you take the situation and you put it into like your own perspective um with that being said so when I put my kids down for bed I got ready 
Um, and you know, I just, I got myself ready and then I went on, uh, TikTok and I found some content to create. And then as soon as Kikoa got home, I got the baby, I nursed him, Kikoa took a shower and then I gave him the kids and I left. And that's just like how the last hour went. And then I went and made a TikTok. I drove around, I found a perfect spot and I filmed. Um, and the reason why I just want to share this is moms, I feel like as a mom, and I know that I, I'm not the only one, but you want to feel accomplished in other things that you do. Um, it just like, it came to me and just like my writing, like when I journal and I write, I have to speak it into existence immediately or I'll just forget. So bear with me. So with that being said, I feel like as a mom, it's kind of hard to find your identity outside of being a mom because there's really not enough time in the day to keep up with all of our momly duties, housely duties, stay at home mom duties. Um, I heard something really incredible that not everyone's stay at home jobs look the same because there there's a variable, which is a child and whatever type of child you have if it's a hard one an easy one a homeschool one three of them you know it just everyone's situation looks very different but i know as moms we all want to be and accomplish other things and it almost seems impossible like for me sometimes i want to do so much um, outside of being a mom like I love to create content I love to create videos that is just what I have a passion in beyond the depths of anything and sometimes it seems almost impossible to be able to do that but I will say that I do make it work and that is how it's like I get no breaks in between we literally ha I have to squeeze in when I can it's now five o'clock and I've literally have not sat down to do one thing for myself. Um, like rest, I mean. I ate my lunch while I was feeding Mace. I, while they were napping, I was getting ready. Like I did not stop. And sometimes that's what it takes. I wanted to share that with you guys because you guys may just think, you know, if you're a mom watching this, you may think to yourself, I don't have enough time like her and I wish I did and I, you know, maybe things would be different to pursue whatever it is, your Etsy shop, your anything, like it could be anything that you want to do that you find passion in and you know, you may see these moms on YouTube, a lot of influencer, a lot of my friends, my YouTube moms, I know firsthand what they go through in order to create what they create and, and it's not it's not as simple and I just wanted to share this that what I just did and show you guys that how I found time to make it happen I planned it out pre when the kids go to bed that's when I get myself ready and get myself together and then as soon as Kikoi gets home I get out the door and I go film or I take pictures and that is how it happens 99% of the time so I'm gonna go home and clean Mesa's room finally I've been trying to get around to it all day um but you just lose the day there's just not okay. enough time in the day there's just so much to do it's, it's all right we have our work cut out for us and i cannot believe i'm sharing this because this is so embarrassing but i thought my bird's chirping my baby monitor is alerting me that i am being way too loud for this so i'm pretty much going to be making several piles but for the most part, I'm gonna just be emptying out everything. I know, can you believe he used to fit in that? I'm going to be going through. Why is this a nine? I wear this though, maybe six months. This is a nine B. N B, that means newborn. So I'm pretty much gonna go through um, everything that I'm gonna donate. I'm going to save um, a lot of stuff because my sister could have another boy. So we definitely wanna save a lot of boy stuff. Um, and then like memorabilia clothes or just, I, I just hold on to special outfits from all my kids and then we will keep, we'll keep some. So that will be the ones that we put away. So we're just going to go like this. Dun, dun, all, of it. all of it is coming out, coming out, coming out, coming out. These are all folded so nicely in here and I'm just throwing it out. 
too. We literally have to go through. That's why. There's like so much that was hidden in the back. I'm going to start with this one. Okay, so. And I know this one is donate. Is it? Yeah. Let me see. It's pretty much if it's zero to three months, then it's done. So yes. Three. Zero to three months. Okay, so done. you can look and zero to three. This is six months, so this is still absolutely perfect and then six months we'll keep and then refold so that's what we're gonna do oh my god these little peas okay mom here, here. oh there's still six here months here you go -na 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 -na. Crazy. one's short sleeve one's long sleeve we must have gotten that for christmas this is everything that we are done with like at six months this is done and I've already gone through this one time. This is everything that we're keeping, but this drawer is empty, and this one is like only right Wait, here. This one is empty? So now, can you pull out all this? And that is like big boy clothes. But now I'm guessing those are ones that are gonna either gonna be need to move up. Yeah, like this. He can totally wear this now. Oh, look at these Frankenstein. No, this one is cuter. <gasps> that one is so cute. Wait, I. Wait, did I get him this one? It's not this right there. Like him as a newborn. <laughs> we love our newborn. brother. Oh. That's trash. <laughs> it's not trash. Oh my god, this is from Disney World or Disneyland. That is so cool. Oh, I remember tiling this. Stop this right now. This is so good. Newborn. It's so random. Three months. <laughs> Smell this smell is right now. So anything that's like big boy goes in there. Like pretty much anything six over 12 months, months we're putting in there. And then everything like six, six to nine months is six here. To nine yep, so that stays. That's 18. And what? So another so update. Is up here. So now this is everything that's big boy, which we're gonna fold that all. I just wanted to get it in there. We separated the two big piles. This is six to nine months and six to nine months. So I'm getting the kids off to bed. I'm washing Law's sheets because he is allergic to dust and I feel like I need to keep up more on his sheets like every week. Um, we live in Hawaii and it just, it's very like weathered here and I feel like it brings a lot of the dust. But that's officially it for today's vlog. I love you guys so, so, so much. I wish I had my comments. They are still turned off and I really feel like they will forever be turned off. I truly don't foresee me getting comments ever. So if you want to talk to me, come and DM me. Follow me on Instagram. All of my social media links are down below, of course like in every video, um, as well as my P.O. box. If you guys ever want to send me like a letter or something cute, it truly makes my day and Ayla's day. Ayla loves getting mail. It's like our favorite thing to do together is unbox fan mail from you guys. Anyways, I'll see you all in our next video for another sun kiss day.